Hello, this is a painter look, and today I'll be painting Archaeon's Golden Saddle. So you can see there are two parts that I've painted Rhinox Hide, and then I'm going to use the first um, highlight, which is Khaki from AK Interactive, and the Rhinox Hide is from Games Workshop Citadel Paints. So for this part, I'm just blocking in areas where light would be hitting and kind of the general color for it would be this type of brown um i think for my last nmm paint job i had too much uh, rhinox hide showing through it so i wanted to try a, a brighter version of a more shiny gold so this time i'll be using more of this khaki uh, British khaki as the main coat. So for the pointy areas, I'm only painting one side of them. So they're kind of like a triangle, uh, not a triangle, they're kind of like a pyramid. So imagine just painting the side where you think the light is coming from. Uh, that seems to help. Um, and then I would also paint the out, what do you call it, out edge highlight, the mid between each um, spiky bit as well. Um, and also you see I'm, I'm going over some areas and intensifying the color. Yeah, so, oh yeah, don't forget to paint these, um, what are they called, saddles? They're, what are they called? I don't know the name, I forgot the name of it now. <laughs> but they're part of the saddle. Uh, I'm going to keep the center black, because maybe later on I'll add some NMM silver, or just keep it black. Uh, because the feet will be covering it anyway, so there won't be much reason to, um, paint them in a very special way and also underneath these parts I won't spend too long making it perfect because you don't really see them that much except maybe towards the edges and what I'm doing I'm what I'm doing actually is I'm dry brushing a wet dry brushing so that really helps me sometimes when I'm not sure where the light would be coming from or how much to paint so I'll just edge highlight it and dry brush it and then tidy it up later. As you can see this part has spiky areas too, just like the front. So I'm actually doing the same thing as I did there in terms of uh, imagine them as pyramids and painting the, the side that would be catching the light. And that has seemed to help um, with the illusion of um, uh, NMM gold. So this part I was a bit worried uh, about how to attempt it so what I did as I said before I just kind of wet dry brushed the whole thing uh, but then I went back to areas like the teeth or the, the cheeks or the horns at the top I'd focus more and then add more paint to them and increase the intensity of color
So the next highlight is golden yellow. This is more selective and it's mostly edge highlighting. I'm just going over the areas that would be uh, catching the sun or the light as much as possible but I'm not going over the khaki brown too much and I'm also just leaving some areas darker than others and also painting lines on the sides where light would be reflecting but I'm kind of making that up as I go along So this part was a bit exciting for me because at this stage it's already starting to um, have a bit of shine added to it 
It's kind of 3D showing the contrast between the lighter and darker areas. Um, so for this part I used the edge of my brush and I just edge highlighted the T for the chin again, the top of the horns, uh, but most of it was just edge highlighting and then some areas where I thought there would be more light hitting it, I'll paint them a solid color. If you see on the chin here, there's one side that's brown and one side that's the uh, golden yellow. It's just to add some uh, gradient or contrast between the light and dark. So yeah, just experiment and always be aware that it reflects off each other. And usually when it reflects, the reflection will be bright or the same color as the thing it's reflecting. So sand yellow, this part is even more exciting because it, it really starts to shine or becomes very sharp and you know the illusion is building up now of gold, shiny gold. Uh, so this one is a edge highlight basically and I'm just going around all the corners, all the edges just to make everything pop. But for some areas like the teeth with a wider area, a thicker area, I will just paint them, uh, I'll, I'll paint it a bit thicker basically. So you can see here now, I'm edge highlighting but it's quite thick compared to the chin and the jaw.
same again just edge highlight the sharpest areas for this one you can actually paint a bit of reflection so you see where the triangles meet the um, the, the bot where they meet the uh, shape in the middle the diamond shape I actually draw I, I colored in a bit more paint to make it look like the diamond the spikes were reflecting onto the area surrounding the triangle and I'm also edge highlighting here and I'm drawing like random lines these lines represent um, the shape of the piece which is a curved piece and then I think they're reflecting off to the flat surface so I drew a, a bright line to separate it and here I'm edge highlighting the court the in between the uh, spikes and I'll do the same on the side arrow parts Now for the final edge highlight and highlight ice yellow. This is the thing that gets it really popping. 
and this one is uh, for this color less is more because yeah, I forgot I found out if I went too much if I use this color too much it kind of starts to look a bit like bone from some angles uh, or if you go too close yeah so for this one I'm just literally edge highlighting the sharpest areas maybe adding a line in the middle of those lines so there's some gradients but just mostly from now on edge highlighting the brightest areas or the areas that need um, some pop to make them it actually makes it look sharper like there's points now this is adding a sense of sharpness to the corners and edges of the metallic structure
I mix Rhinox Hydra with water around 50-50, maybe more water. Um, and then what I do, I sparingly give it a big wash in the areas that need uh, darkening um, or toning down. It's also good at highlighting the ruins and horns. So you can just you know, gl glaze this over the model where you feel uh, the shadows might have been affected or some parts need to be um, the contrast needs to be up. So I now use Fugan Orange, I hope I said it correctly, and I water it down a little bit and then I just paint this into the recesses or the darker areas, um, the khaki brown or the rhinox hide areas. Uh, this is just to warm up the gold, it seemed a bit too cold before, which you know is fine, but compared to the other mod, compared to the rest of the model it just stood out a bit too much, you know a bit too clean. So yeah, I'm just going over areas now, uh, adding this orange. that's it i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and it was useful and uh, thanks for watching <laughs>